Welcome, welcome, Rainbow Six fans, to my room. This is where I play Rainbow Six Siege. It's pretty crazy, huh? It's probably where I'm going to be uploading videos for a while, you know, until the coronavirus situation settles down. And unfortunately, this video is actually about the coronavirus because one of our very own, a former pro French player, Six Quatre, and current caster slash content creator, has apparently come down with it himself, and he claims to have rare symptoms of it that apparently not many people will actually experience from it. He tweeted, So, I caught this stuff, referring to the coronavirus, of course. Then he says, Conjunctivitis is a symptom, and if you have a headache, don't do what I did. Don't take Nerofen and stay home. He follows up by linking an article relating to the study of the coronavirus and the symptoms that he's having, where it stated that in a study of 1,099 patients, only 9 or 0.8% of them had COVID-19. So it is very rare, but it's possible to develop conjunctivitis from it, and Six Quatre was apparently unlucky enough to. Thankfully, the condition of his respiratory system was nothing critical, and it seems like he should be recovering pretty soon. He showed his appreciation for the doctors, and uh, he actually kept a pretty good mindset about it all. He, he was a good sport about it, and I say that because he made a tweet, and he said, Don't worry, guys, I'm gonna clutch this. And when I read that, well, first of all, I love when people make jokes like video game jokes in real life, as long as they do it properly, you know, but also just the fact that he's, he's keeping a good mindset about it. Like I said, you know, he's keeping himself up, not... No, not getting super depressed about it, which obviously, yes, keep driving on, man. Power to you. You're going to get through this. But also, yes, apparently uh, coronavirus, yes, it's affecting several thousands of people, unfortunately, but it is also apparently going to be making its way towards Siege and could be affecting that as well. Ubisoft posted this message saying, as news on the coronavirus develops, a work from home policy will be enacted for the Rainbow Six Siege dev team. The day-to-day -day playing experience will remain unchanged, but they say that smaller patches will be cut in the short term. It won't impact upcoming content that is ready for release in the current update, but they are assessing the impact on future planned content releases, and they'll of course keep us updated. So, no short-term patches, which is obviously pretty nice to have, you know, it's the, it's the little things that count, you know, little map changes, operator balance updates, you know, whatever the heck it may be. Uh, fortunately, we're probably not going to be seeing any of that anytime soon. But of course, like I always say when it comes to stuff concerning the coronavirus, it's very understandable, you know. I love the Rainbow Six Siege dev team, and I want them to stay safe. I want you guys to, you know, keep going on. So stay home and keep doing what you're doing. But also just the fact that they mentioned that they're staying home, kind of, I'm wondering how that process is going for them. Because for me, you know, I'm sitting in front of a camera, literally talking to myself in my own room, and this whole transition for me has been honestly fairly stressful so i'm wondering how that's going to be going for the rainbow six dev team you know when they're trying to be working as a team you know consistently like working on a game all together um but i'm just i'm very glad that they have the option to do that and i hope that no one's jobs are affected by this coronavirus but of course they also mentioned that future planned content might be impacted as well which that you know that that sucks you know we don't know how long this is going to last we don't know exactly what the you know the, the year of content is going to look like anymore because of the coronavirus which is really sad you know when they give us the year five roadmap and we're looking at like all the content that's expected to come and it's like you know we might not be getting this on time anymore or you know like we might not be getting it when we want to and it's kind of just like a big tease you know i'm looking at it and i'm looking at this house rework and I gotta tell you guys, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this house rework, and I hope it comes out on time. So that is unfortunate. At least we can keep playing Siege, you know? I, I guess that and, like, the developers being safe are probably the two most, you know, main important things about this. So, yes, they're safe. They can still continue working. We can still continue playing. So, again, let's just hope that this all blows over quickly, because, gosh darn it, I, I don't like this. This kind of sucks. Hello, neighbors, walking your dog. I saw a pug out there last time. It was pretty cool. What is it this time? This is a different dog. I, nah, I don't know. I can't tell. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, we're going to be having more content coming from this room. So I hope you guys get used to it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. So take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>